Hey everyone, Katie and Sergeant Steel here. And today I want to show you all the really cool models that I painted in 2023. So buckle up, it's a cool showcase. Just wanted to do a quick showcase of surprisingly every model that I painted in 2023. And you know what? I stand corrected. I got a lot done in 2023. This is quite a hefty chunk of models. But in my defense, it's only a few infantry models aside from the destroying that I did here at the end. So let me go over it real quick and talk to you about kind of each unit, what happened and what I think. Let's start out over here. We got all the new guard releases and with this came the bunkers, right? Uh, the new Aegis defense line, painted this up, used the dirty down rust. Uh, loved the effect and loved how that came out. Did some oil washes on that as well to get those done. Now, I also did Lord Solar Leontis. So here he is in all of his glory. I'm really loving that. Um, I waited a long time. I actually just finished him up in November and I've only played one game with him painted, uh, but I really like this custom color scheme I did just to make him a little different from everything else out there on the internet. Uh, but I probably won't run him a whole lot because I like to go purely Cadians if I can. Now I did add in this one funky unit for fun, and I'm so glad I did it. This is the Valdor Tank Hunter. It's not very good right now in 10th. It's uh, Forge World rules are not very well written. It's supposed to be able to like just absolutely obliterate something like a Bane Blade, and it just it doesn't. But it's a really cool looking model, and I'm so glad that I got this painted up. Now, continuing on with the new release of guard models, we have a Rogaldorn and another Rogaldorn, and I started these in 2022, to be fair. Just didn't get them done until 2023. That's actually gonna be a theme here. I started a lot of this in 2022, didn't finish it until 2023. But I have a painting tutorial on both of these. It's my most recent vehicle painting tutorial, and you can check that out. If you like the look of the Valdor better, um, it's the same thing, except you skip the camo pattern stage. It's really it um, on that one. So, but I do have a tutorial available on this. I also have a magnetizing tutorial on the Rugaldorn. So check those out if you're interested and you're still working on these models. Next, I did a Hellhound and it's fully magnetized so I can swap out everything on it, which is really, really exciting. I've actually run it as a devil dog and uh, a battle report against Slider Games also. So check that out. Three Sentinels. Now, interchangeable between armored and scout in case you all didn't know that uh so there's your handy tip for the day if you haven't seen that short video i've done on youtube the armored canopies just slot right into place you don't have to glue them on so you could make you could run them as both and i completed three of those i did start those in 2022 field ordnance battery i've only done one of my three and this is it i've done the bombast field guns and i haven't done anything else yet I did do a tarantula with heavy bolters. So if you're not familiar, this is um, a sentry gun from Forge World. And I did two third party versions of it as well. So really like these third party versions, uh, even better than the original Forge World models, to be honest. The detail is just much crisper. And I think the old, the Forge World one is just showing its age, unfortunately. So, uh, but I painted up three of those for events. Then here's really, the chunk of it, right? I have three full infantry squads here. So I got three of those. Plus I painted up already some of the sergeants and special weapons for the next set of squads that I'll be doing. Now I did that so my force could be a little bit unified as I integrate the new models. That's why I did special weapons and sergeants first. And I sprinkle in some of my older Canadian models when I go to events. To follow up with that, I also did the special edition Kazarkin for Warhammer Plus, so he's right there. I did Ursula Creed, of course, and she looks fantastic, I think. This is another model I'm super proud of. This is me. This is Katie and Sergeant Steele himself, um, fully painted up. So let me pick them up real quick just to show you. I've got the purple eyes in there. I've got the plasma pistol chain sword. And this was one of the other hobby projects I did for 2023. Oops, trying to get it to focus, there we go. And uh, I did a full cosplay that replicated this model. So very, very proud of that. 
I painted my own custom Master of Ordnance model. Uh, so that's what you see there, and that's out of that Gene Steeler cult kit. And then I got a few other just random weapons, random Cadians, plasma grenade launcher, a couple LAS guns. I did two versions of Mika Lesk, so I got the white shield version, and I got the captain slash lieutenant version back there as well. And of course, a commissar, although I don't really use them. Not because I think they're bad, I actually think they're okay, but because I don't think they need to be around Cadians. After I read the Fall of Cadia uh, mm -hmm. stuff, I wasn't too thrilled with how Commissar is treated Cadians, so. Or was Katie Stands, yep, uh, so great book. I also painted up, uh, don't judge me, a squad of the Blooded, the Renegade Guard, and that now gives me uh, 24 fully painted Blooded models and Renegade Guard. So I am working on a small Renegade Force just for funsies um, doing that. And then what I just did this week, I completed 26 Vestroian models. So these are out of production, old school guard models, and I now have these completed as well. So all in all, this was a lot of stuff, and this doesn't count the terrain I painted. I painted up the graveyard set from Age of Sigmar. Uh, very excited about that. Painted up a ton of stuff for the local shop. I guess I did paint a lot, and I guess I am a pretty prolific painter. I mean, this is a huge selection of stuff uh, to get completed in one calendar year so i'm really proud of this and really proud of the quality level that i painted all these units up to i'm going to continue to work on expanding my Cadian army of course in 2024 and i'll be working on my aircraft units my vulture my valkyries i'm going to be getting those painted up not sure about the vendetta yet now that it's been legends and it's also not all that great rules wise right now so i don't know if i'd even have fun playing it and I have several other uh, Forge World models that I'll be working on, such as the Makador Defender um, and other things that I've kind of purchased and hidden away in my pile of shame. I'll also be working on more terrain projects and doing other cool stuff through 2024. So this is what I did in 2023 and super proud of it. Super impressed that I pulled this much off. But please do remember, I started most of this, all this new Cadian stuff started in 2022. Uh, I already had it built, base coated, and then I just finished painting all this up. So we'll see what 2024 has in store for me. Hope you all enjoyed this little video and my quick discussion of it. One other thing I'll, before I close out, I do want to say this and this were slap chop. No kidding. The blooded and the destroyings were slap chop and that helped me get them done even quicker. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope you have fun wargaming. And until I see you all next time, take care, and as always, Katie stands.